Well, for a dozen zigzagging miles, it flows from the West Metro under Minneapolis and into the Mississippi River. It is Bassett Creek, and you can canoe and kayak much of it. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lordson shows us why the creek has become an urban adventure for kayakers. It's kind of an undiscovered gym for many, especially getting out early in the morning. Uh, the amount of nature that you encounter, uh, it's, it's just very peaceful. Through the hustle and bustle of the busy city, it's possible to drive, run, or bike by Bassett Creek and never know it's there. But if you're on a kayak like Golden Valley Mayor Shep Harris, well, that's a different story. Otters, um, eagles, geese, deer, there's always a surprise or two, but not, not close encounters. Going with the flow of Bassett Creek means you can go from wildlife at one turn to buildings and houses the next. The creek meanders through neighborhoods and golf courses, but disappears from sight as it gets closer to downtown. And then it actually goes into a tunnel um, near the Minneapolis impound lot and goes under downtown Minneapolis. There's a 30-foot uh, waterfall in that tunnel. There's a 30-foot drop structure in there. That part is not accessible for kayakers. But you should know that if you're at Target Field, the creek runs right under second base. Eventually, it makes its way to the mighty Mississippi, where an old stone arch marks the spot where the creek used to come out before being relocated for flood mitigation. There's some bridges here depending on the water level. As an experienced Bassett Creek kayaker, Shep has noticed more company on his waterway over the past year, and he welcomes it. But for every scenic stretch, there's a challenge just around the corner. You have to sometimes get down in your kayak like, uh, like an Olympic sport, like you're doing the, uh, the bobsled, and uh, just to make sure that you can go through that tunnel safely. It's a little more challenging uh, than a, a Minnehaha Creek, but it's worth it. Worth it, and right in his own backyard. For some urban adventurers, Bassett Creek isn't just scenic, it's therapeutic. In this time of COVID, this is a great way to get out of the house, blow off some of that COVID stress, blow off some of the steam, and just relax and have a really great day out on the water and, and surrounded by nature. In Golden Valley, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. The Bassett Creek watershed, watershed Management says it takes more work to keep the creek clean because it is in an urban setting and because it is getting used more. They hope that outdoor enthusiasts do their best to keep pollution out. The group also encourages neighbors to sign up for the Adopt a Drain program.